guys and girls welcome back uh, we are now on tutorial number 9 by ifactner.com and in this tutorial uh, we will be discussing about how to add text text outlines and logos in our canvas element on an html page in the previous tutorial we created three files canvas3.html canvas3.css and canvas3.js right now the output of our file is like this we have got a yellow canvas with gray black uh, border on a white page now what we would like to do is to go to our canvas3.js file and add uh, some text uh, to our canvas for that i need uh, to define a variable and I define uh, a variable and says my JavaScript file to inherit the properties of the canvas. For that I use you know, a function document dot get element by id and I give the name of my canvas which is new canvas in my HTML file. New canvas now uh, this variable is a copy of that canvas and now i define a new variable jctx to get the context of our canvas to draw something on our canvas i need to get hold of the context and with the help of that context i can draw and text and graphics and import images and gradients and so on and so forth so I used a method can can dot get context and uh, the context should be uh, gotten in 2D for uh, in two dimensions. We can use the 3D, but it's right now vendor specific, and in the future we will have 3D, uh, and we would be able to draw in 3D as well. And now I want to. Uh, define the font of my text so I can say that jctx dot font should be equal to let's say 40 pixels Verdana so 40 pixels is the size of the font and Verdana is the family of the font so you can use any family of the font font family and now what I would like to do is to write something on my canvas so i write jctx dot fill text or uh, i fit so it uh, uh, takes three uh, uh, values number one is the text number two is the x-axis from which my text should begin so I say that my text should begin uh, almost from here which would be around 50 pixels and on the y-axis I say that my text should begin uh, uh, at uh, over here so it would be around 250 pixels because the height of uh, my canvas is 400 pixels and width is also 400 pixels so width is on x-axis and height is on y-axis and I just save my canvas3.js file and I end it with a semicolon save it and I refresh my file there and I see that I have got a text in black with a ifectioner.com if I need to change the color of my text then I can do that with a property that is fill style so I write jctx dot fill style equals to and what should be the color of uh, my uh, font it should be I say blue and you can give uh, hex values uh, if you would like to do uh, but I just uh, uh, type blue go to my page refresh it and now the color of my font has been changed to blue in the same manner I can use the stroke stroke text method 
to define the outline of uh, my text so I say that the uh, jctx dot stroke style that the color of my uh, stroke should be red and uh, uh, it should uh, write ifectner.com uh, for that I use the method stroke text just like the fill text jctx dot stroke text uh, I want to write ifectner.com but this time I would like uh, my uh, stroke te text to begin at let's say not at the 50 pixels but at 75 pixels and on the y axis I like to begin it at 150 pixels so my stroke text would appear over here so I say that you should begin at 75 pixels so it should be more towards the right and 150 pixels so it should be on the y axis it should be over here this is our x axis and this is our y axis so I save my uh, file and it with the semicolon and save it and go to my browser click on the refresh page and now I have got the outline of my uh, text which is ifectioner.com and in the next tutorial we will see how can we use both of these uh, 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 fill text method and the stroke text method to uh, give a shadow effect to give an outline effect and to create our logos so see you in the next tutorial take care bye bye